Hi, this is Steve Gersini again with Coach House, and today is an exciting day at Coach House. We are introducing the brand new Platinum 3 Transit 350 HD Series Motorhome. It is an absolute work of art. 185 horsepower, i5 power stroke diesel engine and it is loaded with features. What we're showing here right now is the chassis. We want to get people familiar with what the chassis actually looks like. It's a 178 inch wheelbase um, so it's got a nice long drivetrain to it, six speed transmission, 25 gallon fuel tank. It is a rugged little machine. 10,360 pounds of carrying capacity and when Coach House is through building on this coach it weighs about 8,800 to 9,000 pounds. So our carrying capacity in this vehicle is about the same carrying capacity that we have in our Mercedes Benz. This is a winner. It is an awesome little coach and what we're going to do is just kind of walk you through real quick and show you how nice and neat Ford has built this chassis. You can look at the frame and see how solid the frame is. Um, you can look at the wheelbase and see how long the wheelbase is. Uh, the fuel tank, 25 gallons, is actually located on the inside of the frame rails. So you're in a very safe location. If you're involved in a side impact collision, Coach House protects you. Not only the way Ford designed it, but the way we design our frames. An absolutely beautiful vehicle. And I'm getting really excited because we have one complete and it's in our showroom and we're gonna show you exactly what these things look like when we're done. Awesome little vehicle. Sam, here we are. This is it. The grand finale of our transit motorhome. I am blocking it. I hope you really can't see it. It is really, really, really cool. Check this thing out. 2019 Ford Transit Coach House Platinum 3. Look at the aerodynamics of this going over the top, Sam. We have done a spectacular job on building this one-piece bodied motorhome. It measures about 25 feet long, but we have done a remarkable job. We are from Southwest Florida, so we're very, very blessed by people in the marine industry to assist us with some of these projects. Coach House takes on the bulk of it. We've been working on this coach for about, about 14 months. And so we feel like we have perfected this one-piece bodied motorhome. We're looking for big things on our Ford Transit. Sam, I want to show the side of this vehicle. If you notice, most RVs are a box. Look at the aerodynamics that we've created on the side of this vehicle. You take the style lines of the chassis and continue it all the way down the side of the vehicle. It adds rigidity, it adds strength. Beautiful design. Look at the windows, all flat panel windows. Look at the paint job that we've put on this coach. Uh, BASF product, glasserit clear coat. It's double stage. We cut and buff them. Beautiful design. We have three different paint jobs to choose from. This is our basic shadow. Look at the driver's door. Look at how big this driver's door is. It's even got a keypad entry so you can get in keypad wise. This chassis is loaded with every feature Ford Transit offers. Listen to this solid door. It's an awesome little machine. Going down, look at the storage. Look at how clean, Sam, the exterior of this body is. We got a couple windows, refrigerator cutout, smart plug umbilical cord. Very, very clean. Now look at this. Easy access to all your stuff. Big 3.6 Onan generator. Um, outside storage compartment. All fiberglass containers, as is a tradition with Coach House. Fiberglass doors. Smart plug. These, these are marine. We don't go after the RV industry. Again, we're in Florida. We try to pull a lot of stuff and components from the marine industry. Smart cord. It, it absolutely plugs in. You don't have to worry about a short. You don't have to worry about arcing. It is an awesome device. Outside shower. Our central utility compartments are really cool. This is a nice, clean, very, very user-friendly storage apartment. We have Blackwater Flush. We have the remote LP system. We have a sewer hose carrier. We have a cable TV connection. 
the ability to fill your fresh water tank when you're hooked up to city water. Got a little courtesy light back here. And then we have our city water connection. And guess what? When it's closed and locked, it's put away. Beautiful, beautiful design, clean exterior coach. This is a winner. You gotta check out the Ford Transit. Let's continue around the back, Sam, and we'll get going on the back and around the, around the passenger side. Now, Sam, check out the back. No seams, seamless body, one piece, hand laid, fiberglass body, reinforced with carbon fiber. Probably the strongest substructure you'd ever have in an RV. It's what we do. We build a high-end small motor home. All LED lights on the back. Look at these, LED. Look at this cool bumper we designed with LED lights in the back for tail lights. License plate holder. We've got a class three rated hitch with this with a brake controller in the front. Seven-way barge or seven-way pin connector so you can tow your electric, anything with electric brakes if you want to tow a small vehicle. This coach can handle just about anything. Um, Transit is, a, is a, on its way to probably be becoming one of the best chassis us manufacturers can build on. And Coach House nailed this one out of the ballpark. All right, Sam, now what we're going to do is walk down the passenger side of the vehicle and check it out. Platinum 3. Third generation of Platinums. Uh, we've kept it in the same family because of the one-piece body. Awesome vehicle. Again, check out the style that we've added to the body. It's on a square box. It's beautiful. Um, more storage. Check out the storage. Here. Awesome. Fiberglass. Completely lit LED strip. So no matter where you put your components inside the storage container, you can see them, even at nighttime. Really nice feature. Fiberglass doors again, locks, compression locks, so that when you seal your door, you don't have to worry about water leaks. Something that Coach House does that a lot of manufacturers don't do and people don't talk about is that we keep all of our storage containers below our aluminum floor. So what does that mean? It's a safety item. You know, I've got keys that I can get into just about any RV. There's a five or six master keys that I can get into anything. So you put all your valuables outside, people can steal them. Or you put them inside and you have a great big storage compartment door outside. I'm not going to go through the side entry door. I'm going to go through this door. I'm going to break into your RV. We don't believe that that is the right way to store items. Everything below here is not accessible going up through the floor. So you have anything that you value Put inside the vehicle anything like chairs and water hoses, camping gear, things that are of not great value, put in your outside storage containers. If somebody gets into them, you don't have to worry about losing a fortune. Just some common sense things that we feel are very, very important. Walking on through, we got our, our city water fill, again, our flat panel windows. We have a 30,000 BTU furnace on board, which is a nice furnace. We have a 10-foot Dometic box awning. That box awning is legless, and it is remote controlled, and it, will, it also has a wind sensor built into it. So if you're involved with any wind, if that awning gets shaken, it's gonna bring itself back in. So it's a very easy item to use. Uh, it also has track lighting on it. We've showed in past videos that all of our track lighting is on the coach side of the vehicle and not on the trailing edge of the awning. What makes that nice is again when you're looking outside in the dark what's nice is you light up outside and you don't have this false front of light that you can't see beyond. So we really like the way we've set up our awnings. But a beautiful coach, very very clean. Um, in this particular model as in all of our diesels we've gotten into the Truma hot water heaters. These are on-demand propane hot water heaters. They're very easy to use. They're thermostatically controlled. And it has taken the industry over as far as a very good um, Insta-Hot style propane water heater. Got a couple little devices here, cable TV connection. Uh, we've got outlets, 110 volt outlets that we use. So say you want to set up on your passenger side a camping scenario. Uh, put your TV out here. Um, picnic tables are always at campgrounds. You pull your little picnic table up and you got access to 110 volt current, which makes it nice. Under here, what we have 
is a little bit more storage and our dual battery slide tray. It's kind of a nice feature. A lot of our customers do like these dual battery slide trays. Coach House likes the six volt Lifeline batteries. They're 220 amps when they're combined. They com um, when we put them in a series, they now become 12 volt. And what's nice about these batteries is you can warranty them anywhere in the United States of America. Um, a lot of companies are getting into different batteries. Um, as far as lithium ion, things of that nature, the industry is not there yet. When we have a major supplier that can supply a service to our customers, we will look at lithium ion batteries. But until then, they're all off brand. You're dealing with the manufacturer of the battery that could be in a little warehouse somewhere building lithium ion batteries. These are bought through Interstate. Interstate is a nationally recognized company. They're in all 50 states in America. If you have battery problems, you can gain access to service. That is the biggest thing that we preach here is the fact that we build the best small motor homes, the best quality possible to limit your out of time on the road as far as service is concerned. All right, Sam, you gotta check this out. Full size entry door, very, very solid. Open up the door, you got these two beautiful steps going out and look at the red carpet. This is the way we treat our customers when they come to our plant for taking delivery. Look at these stairs walking in. Two great grab handles hanging onto the coach to get in. So you never have to worry about falling. So Sam, that covers the outside. Come on in and let me show you what we did on the inside of this vehicle. All right, Sam, here we are inside this vehicle. You notice I had to put my glasses on. You know, it's, I'm not 25 anymore and my eyes are getting bad, so I like to make sure I explain things properly. So what I wanted to talk about is um, our new wiring system came out about a year and a half ago. It's called Multiplex and it's on the Firefly platform. And I wanna show you this little panel up here, Sam. It's really, really cool. This is the new Firefly system, Sam. And what's cool, this is on your home screen. You can control all of your lights from here by just turning them off turn them on, um, the awning power, this little motorized sofa. We're using a new sea level tank monitor so that we're very, very accurate with our, with our LPG, our fresh, our gray, and our black water tanks. Little water pump switch, shows your house and coach batteries, your generator start stop. And just moving through these simple little menus here, we also have an auto generator start. This will start automatically start your generator for multiple reasons. It could be low batteries if you want to set it up that way. It could be air conditioning if you want to set it up that way. Heat if you want to set up. However you want to set this up gives you what they call a trigger that allows you to automatically start the generator when you're not around. Uh, back to our lights, we've got lights everywhere and they can all be demo. Most of them can all be dimmable, which is nice. HVAC mode, this controls your 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner with heat pump. So you have a cool setting, you have a heat pump for your air conditioner, you have a 30,000 BTU furnace, and you have an auto button here. And just by pushing auto, it will automatically tune to what you need, whether it be heat or cold furnace or heat pump. So really a neat feature. Um, these, there's two um, fantastic roof fans on board. These will control your fantastic roof fans as well. Then you have a settings button here where you can control most of your RV functions through your smartphone if you so choose to do that. So it really is a nice feature. In addition to the main panel, we also have these auxiliary panels as well. And there'll be between two and three of these located throughout the coach and you can control lighting, heating, cooling, and things of that nature or as well remotely, which is very nice. One of the nice features with the Ford Transit is the great legroom you have up front, the steering controls, the smart system. This vehicle is pretty integrated as far as technology. Automatic headlights, daytime running lights. Um, it's got a lot of features to it. again, it's a 3.2 diesel, 178-inch uh, wheelbase, and um, we even order the seats leather. And the reason we order them leather, they come from Ford this way, is because they also have airbags built into them. But, um, you know, in addition to the 3.2 liter power stroke, which pushes 185 horse, 350 foot pounds of torque, it's really a cool system. 
Uh, with Ford, they now have message centers, um, which tells you just about everything that's related to your vehicle, your oil change, your tire pressure, your, your, your trip odometers, your outside temperatures. It's got all kinds of stuff in it, as well as the Sync 3 radio. Uh, we're using the Sync 3 radio from Ford, uh, which is, has built-in navigation, and it, they really are becoming more and more user-friendly, more popular, and I think people genuinely love them. Our seats are both 10-way power seats, and um, you know, being 10-way power, you cannot swivel. Now, we do have the option for swivel, but you lose the power. So we're, we, we can do them either way. Uh, this coach is ha happens to be equipped with the 10-way power seats, which makes it very comfortable. Uh, but there's cru cruise control. Uh, there's dual driver passenger sun visors. Uh, there's a tow, tow haul mode if you're going to tow with the vehicle. Trailer tow wiring harness, which we mentioned. Um, there's trailer stability control. Uh, heavy-duty alternator, dual batteries, I mean this thing's loaded up. This coach um, has chrome headlights, chrome grille, and surrounding components. It has the chrome rims on board. Um, it's got just about all the safety gear that, that you can put on a vehicle like this. It's got, it does not have collision avoidance, but has blind spot monitoring and things like that. They call it a lane keeping alert system, weather wrapped steering wheel, illuminated visors, again, 10 way power seats. Uh, they're heated driver passenger seats, long mirrors on the outside so you can see around the vehicle. That's very important to our drivers. Uh, that they can see around the body that we've created, which with the longer armed mirrors you can. So from an aspect of having every option possible on the chassis, Coach House orders everything. There is nothing that we do not order on these chassis unless it's something new that comes out and we don't know about it. Now we're going to give a walkthrough more on the interior. We've talked about the chassis quite a bit and what a remarkable chassis it is, but the interior is equally important. Our goal at Coach House is to provide a vehicle where it will stay in shape as long as these six wheels want to go down the road. We have a three or 36,000 mile warranty on the vehicle. We've got vehicles that are traded in 105, 110. We traded one in 195,000 miles. We want our interiors to last. So we build them to the best of our ability, which really separates Coach House from most. Uh, look at even on our doors, all the hardware, beautiful hardware. They'll last forever. Look at that metal metal stay there, Sam. It's got a little Allen wrench so you can tighten it up. It'll last forever. We got these posi catch latches. So when we shut the door and we push the button, guess what? Everything's locked. Don't have to worry about stuff flying out of your cabinets. I and mean, how embarrassing is that, driving down the road and you got stuff flying out all over the place? We don't have to worry about that because these latches, once you push them, they're locked. Let's keep going around the passenger side here because one of the neat things that we did is relocated our TVs. We put this TV in the side so when you're sitting on your sofa bed here, um, you have good visibility. So when I sit here, this is, this, this is a motorized sofa bed. Not only do we have twin beds in this model, but we can equip it with the power sofa or we do a dinette. And either one of those can be used for a sleeping arrangement. And while you're up during the day, you got a beautiful visibility on your TV, you got a Blu-ray DVD player, you got all this storage under here. I mean, it's this coach, we put it together right. It's a beautiful vehicle. Look at the hinges. Those are recessed European hinges. They're infinitely adjustable. So when you close the doors, look at that soft close. Isn't that cool? Look at that soft close, push the buttons, you're latched, you're ready to go. A little more storage up here which is nice, you can put all your remote controls up here, your, your remotes for your awning, your remotes for your TV, so you have your keys, anything of personal use you can, you can put here, which is kind of nice. Heading back, um, we do have a nice overhead area as well. We store some of our remotes up here, just a little pocketed place, nice, little courtesy light, which is nice. I guess I gotta turn it on at, the, at my multiplex Firefly wiring system. <laughs> Stainless steel sink. Um, we got new colors this year. This is our uh, teak interior. Look at that beautiful 
solid surface countertop that we're using now. Two burner stove, propane, nice. Uh, range hood, a lot of companies don't put a range hood in their vehicles, we do. Uh, here's your Truma hot water heater control. So you can control your Truma hot water heater, the temperature from right here, makes it very, very convenient. Fire extinguisher, easily accessible from the side entry door. All of our windows, Sam, if you look, I didn't open these, but if you open these windows, they're jealousy windows. And why is that important? It's important for a number of reasons. One of the most important reasons is if you have pets, you can leave the windows open and be away from your vehicle where they're still getting cross ventilation. Um, another nice feature with a jealousy window is in inclement weather. If it decides to rain or snow or whatever, the water will run off the windows and not run in the window. The alternative to those are what they call T-slider windows, where they open more horizontally. And with those being open, if you have a side rain or you have a rain at all, you obviously run the risk of, of water infiltration into the vehicle. So the, we do like the jealousy style windows for those reasons, and there are several others. Safety is a big thing too. You're not, the only way you're going to get in that window is if you smash it and break it. Where a T-slider window, if it's open, you can climb in through a window. So it's something that we kind of like is all of our jealousy style windows. We talked about the beautiful counter surfaces, the range hood, and something else we like to point out is this beautiful pantry. This is all handcrafted. It's not a a metal rack where all your stuff falls all over the place. We build these in-house, so it's a really beautiful pantry. A little more storage up above so you can put things in. We've got storage all through here. Look at the drawers. They're just beautiful drawers, the way it all works. You know, all, again, all posi catch latches, so everything works well. Got a big storage compartment here for your pots and pans and things like that. It's just a really, really nice setup for our galley. We even put a little extension right here. And then beyond the pantry that I just showed you, this is a twin bed floor plan. A lot of people like a twin bed floor plan for multiple reasons. Um, it, it's comfortable, you can get up and down to use the restroom in the middle of the night, plenty of storage everywhere. You've got your shirt cabinets, you've got these big overhead storage compartments here. Uh, they all stay up, look at that, it's gorgeous. I uh, got big drawers. Look at the drawers under here, Sam. This is just cool. Now we got the plastic on the on the mattresses just to keep them protected uh, because this coach is brand new. So, but all the storage is just really, really cool in this coach. This is going to be our electrical and water system side, and um, what we like about that, and I'm kind of jumping a little bit, but our freshwater system, the line, the tanks, the pump are all put above the floor. This coach is a 12-month year-round use vehicle. Providing you keep the interior above 32 degrees, you don't have to worry about it freezing. We are one of the only manufacturers that offer that. There's a substantial part of freshwater systems that are put outside the vehicle, which doesn't make sense. We put it inside, keep it above 32 degrees, you can still use the coach. Now in this particular model, Sam, this is a rear bath arrangement. And what's nice about our rear bath arrangement is we do try to keep things private. Whoops. We do, do try to keep things private. So there's a, there's a privacy door. You have a nice big bathroom back here, nice big shower, um, which is nice. You can climb in, you can, uh, you can take a picture of this in a second, but it's really, really a nice big shower. Uh, nice sink, galley. Nice, van, uh, nice um, medicine cabinet. We've got towel holders. We've got toilet paper holders. We've got a uh, 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 privacy flush for you if you want to use it. Um, you can also use it to clean out the toilet bowl. They're all porcelain toilets. I'll let you get in here, Sam, and shoot a little bit of vi video footage so people can get an idea of what this bathroom looks like because it really is a nice, big, usable dry bath, which is nice. Sam, what we're going to do now is we're going to work our way back up towards the front on the driver's side of the vehicle. And what I wanted to point out, all of our window treatments, look at how beautiful all the valances are. 
These are our new fabrics, and again, this is the teak interior. But we have these beautiful um, MCD shades, and you pull it down once, and it's a sheen where you can still see outside, makes it a little more difficult to see inside. But then there's also a nighttime shade, so that gives you complete privacy. Look at the way we've wrapped these, so that you don't have anybody that can look inside. We even have lights underneath. They're all... Um, um, and indirect lighting that it can all be dim now, which is beautiful, beautiful. Nice bed spreads, nice wide twin bed. We use real mattresses. These are not foam. Uh, we do have options for mattresses. A lot of people love these. They are custom made, but we can get into Tempur-Pedic. We can get into memory foam. It just drives the price up a little bit. These are more than adequate for 95% of our customers, which is nice. A nice TV in the back. This TV is also on a swing arm so that you can bring this TV out and swivel it so both people can see it while they're laying in bed. Um, it also comes with a DVD player, which is under here as well. Shirt closets, um, both sides of the coach, so you can hang your garments. You have overhead storage again. Um, I pointed out the HVAC system, Sam, and what I'd also like to point out, this is a 15,000 BTU Dometic. Again, it has a heat pump built into it. We have a 30,000 BTU LPG furnace, but this is a ducted system. And the ducts are located throughout the ceiling. And what's nice about the ducts is you can adjust where you want the airflow to hit, whether it be on yourself, where you know, if, you, if you're hot typically or cold, you can even go so far as to shut them off so that you don't even have an airflow. But these are all adjustable. And it really makes it a nice feature in a motorhome, I think, to be able to get that air off you or on you. People really like it. Also notice throughout the ceiling, Sam, we've got all these lights. They've been on a while. These are all LED lights. All of our lighting in here is LED, so you get a very low voltage draw. So going back over to those aux batteries a second, 220 amp hours, these lights will last for probably weeks because they're very, very low voltage draw. So batteries, we feel, back to the battery scenario, is we feel it's better to give better service than a battery that you're not going to get a service on. So it's kind of a, a, a catch-22, but with the LED-equipped vehicles now, they're much lower draw. They don't burn as much power. All right, Sam, we just did a little flip-flop, and we're still on the driver's side of the coach, but what I wanted to point out is this beautiful six-foot Dometic refrigerator. It's a new style for Dometic, and it really is beautiful. You have a nice size uh, refrigerator, and you also have a very nice size um, freezer. This is still three-way, AC, DC, LP gas. So there's a beautiful refrigerator. It's very uh, modern looking and it is a, it's working very well for us. High point microwave convection oven. Uh, these are all standard in our vehicles as well. What's nice about this particular um, device is it's not only a microwave, but it's also an oven a convection oven and all the convection really does is make things cook a little quicker it adds more of an airflow in the inside the chamber here to create better heat more thorough heat which gives you a much uh, quicker cook time so this is a, a, a beautiful oven it works very very well now what i want to show is complete this unit by showing the different configurations of the front of our vehicle Okay, so we flip-flopped again. We're getting you all confused, but bear in mind, we're still on the driver's side of the coach. And what I wanted to show is our power sofa. Uh, we have two options here. This vehicle does not have a slide-out in it. We can put our power sofa in, or we can put our dinette in. And either one of the options will, there's no charge for either one, but will provide an additional sleeping area. And I mentioned it earlier for a grandchild, another couple, whoever you want to go with you. But the way this works is you come back up here to your little firefly system, push the button, the sofa slides out, push the button again, and here it goes down. And now look at the size bed you have here. It is a 54 inch by 75 inch bed. So you have a really big, nice bed. A lot of people will take and throw a throw some type of a, a sleeping bag or they sell um, a beds in a bag where everything, the sheets and everything are all as one. But this gives you a really nice sleeping, sleeping arrangement, which a lot of people do love. Uh, but these sofas we've used for years and years. They're awesome little sofas. They work well and um, really provide a much better sleeping 
position than most. If you notice, Sam, in the floor here, we have a couple table mounts as well for your dining tables. Um, I won't show those are traditional tables that are pedestal mounted, but um, that kind of completes what we've done inside this transit. So if you want more information on it, we are just now starting to produce videos like we're doing uh, and, and some literature um, and pictures, photos, etc. on this vehicle. But it is a state-of-the-art vehicle. There is nobody in this industry that builds a better product than Coach House. We're a factory direct company. We're located in Florida. We take trades. We arrange finance. We do it all. It's an enjoyable trip. A lot of our customers come down from anywhere in the country. We've sold them as far away as Hawaii. So there is no limit to where we can sell these vehicles and deliver them to you or you, have, or you come pick them up. And it's really cool if you pick them up, you get a wonderful walkthrough. This is all we know. So when we give you a walkthrough on these vehicles, we're extremely thorough and we take our time so you understand your product. And a lot of customers will shoot down to the Keys, they'll stay in local campgrounds for a few days before they trek back home. Um, so it is a great, great way to even see our country is come pick up a Platinum, take delivery of it, and go on your voyage. Have a great time. But there's going to be more information on the bottom of the screen on how you can contact us. We've got a live receptionist here. We're a family-run business. We're not a conglomerate of anybody else. And uh, we would really appreciate your consideration in purchasing one of our products. Thank you very much.